This will be a bit of an unusual video for me. Somebody had asked that I drop test the two meters that I damaged. So I've got our AN8008 and the ZT102. What I'd like to do is get these two meters basically mechanically correct. So I stole some parts off the second ZT102 that I'd purchased. And you can see I've replaced the switch contacts that had actually burned. This is one of them. See, I also had damaged the fuse holders on the original ZT102. So I've gone ahead and replaced those. I also took the PTC off the third ZT102 that I'd modified along with the current shunt. And I've gone ahead and installed those into the original ZT102. I'm not going to do anything about the switch contacts. That's not really going to matter as far as the drop test. But I think the rest of this really should be in place. So I think these are both probably good enough now. What we'll do is install these into the cases. So I thought we should go ahead and add the original batteries to these. The problem is, is with both of these meters, they're basically now a dead short. So you can see I've just taken a little bit of capped on tape, covered up the end caps of them. But that should at least give us some amount of additional weight to the meters. All right, you can see I have the two meters reassembled. Mechanically, I'd say they're ready to go. I went ahead and weighed both meters. They both weigh about 128 grams. Well, I think our next step is to come up with some kind of a drop test for them. If you look in IEC 61010 in section 8.3.2, they talk about drop testing handheld devices. So I'm assuming that that applies to the handheld meters. They call to have them dropped one time from one meter onto a piece of 50 millimeter thick hardwood, and then the hardwood should be placed onto concrete. You ready? I think so. Do it. All right. Your So no damage to either meter. So this will be one meter on the concrete. This will be two stories up. Okay. Wow, I didn't even see that through this. I'm sorry. Hold on. It looked like it hit over here, could you tell? Yeah, it did. It hit farther over. Both meters look okay. Something obviously broke inside of this one. This one still seems fine. Let's get some fairly deep gouges here. You can see right here and on this corner here there's some scratches. Other than that, not a lot of damage. Maybe in this corner right here. But it looks pretty good. Again, that's after a two-story drop right on the concrete. Well, it looks real good. The only thing I really see 
is I think this capacitor may have been up a little bit. Other than that, it looks fine. Alright, so let's see what happened with the cassette test. Again, this is the ZT-102. Uh, right here. The fuse popped out of the holder. Actually, that's not the one that I replaced. This is the one that I soldered new in. You can see the capacitor may be tilted up just slightly. And yeah, there isn't a real good lock in here for these fuses. And they use pretty shitty materials. I was going to say these slots here look like they are made to basically keep the fuses in place. So I'm kind of surprised it fell out. Yeah, I don't know if those aren't tall enough. Hmm. Well, there's something going on. Well, I think that's going to be it for our drop test. Hope you enjoyed the video. Later.